What's up everyone? I'm going to review and react to Vic Mensa's latest work, The Manuscript. Looks like it's a four song little EP and I'm stoked. Let's get into it. The first song is almost there. It's featuring Mr. Hudson. This for all my fans that say they want that old Vic. I've grown too much to ever be the old Vic. I'm new and improved, call me Vic 2.0. Still make it two points every time I move up. Oh! Damn, that was a good track. Uh, he, he talks about uh, going you know, that people want the old Vic, and he's saying, "I'm uh, there's no way I can be the old Nick. I've changed too much. Like there's too much stuff that's happened to me." That's cool though. Uh, I like that he was spitting, and he's talking about he's almost there. He's got the albums about to come out, and it's just basically this. He said it was for the fans, and he's just thanking them for listening to him and. He wouldn't be where he is without them, like he really needs them and that this music is for him and it helps him through the troubles of life and I like that track, that was really good. Uh, the next one, OMG featuring Pusha T, that's always nice, let's hear it. Pulling up with the crew, bust the dust, slam with the roof, the parents clubbing like a caveman, we do up the pyramids, now they say we Illuminati, Fox, Fur, Cavalli, fuck Bill O'Reilly, <laughs> Damn, that track was tight. I like that one. I thought the beat was gonna go a little harder, but um, it was still a good song. I like it a lot. That one didn't like stand out to me, but. It was still good. I enjoyed it. Uh, let's do the next one. Rolling like a stoner. Wow. <laughs> that was actually pretty deep. not only bangs but it's also pretty deep he starts off just basically by saying he tried to be sober it didn't work and he has a problem and no one knows it and it's just kind of like this feels like a happy song and, and maybe it is because he's releasing like what he feels but he basically talks about feeling lost and confused and drinks too much just too many drugs and people ask him if he's okay and that he doesn't know anymore and I, honestly, that's probably relatable to a lot of people, so I'm glad he put that out there. I know, like, I can relate to that on some sort of level, but uh, I like that one. So this last track is called Rage. Do not go gently. It's just my love. It's just my love. Damn, that sounded, at least uh, from my knowledge of Vic, that sounded like a really different kind of track. The hook and him singing, and I liked it a lot. It was a really cool sound, and the words he's saying, it's just like... I've said this before on other reviews and just um, other artists, and it just seems like this drive to be like the best rapper, to be on top, and to be the fame and all this, it doesn't satisfy a lot of people, and so it sounds like that's what he's talking about when he... These people, he talks about these kids wanting his life, but he, in his life, he's just wanting time, that he's just so busy. And he's got all these things that he has to deal with, and 
you know, life doesn't just get easy because you become famous. Sometimes I guess it becomes harder, you know. So that was a cool song. I really like that. I like this little EP. Definitely going to be listening to it. Definitely going to have to dissect it a little more. I know there was a lot of stuff in there. Um, but thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Check it out. Listen to the manuscript. And it looks like there's a second part coming out as well. If you look on the cover, it's one out of two. So hopefully we'll be getting that soon. But I also do a podcast. I do two podcasts. One with my buddy Garrett. You can check it out. It's called You Must Be Bored. It's on SoundCloud. And I also do another one called The Unfit Pastor by myself. You can check those both of those out on our SoundCloud page at Babylon Creations. And you can also subscribe to us there. Subscribe to us right here on YouTube. And thank you for listening. Later.